Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to Frontier Pilot Simulator. So you're probably wondering Jack, what is this game? Well, let me explain it to you. But first off, the developers saw my flying skills and space engineers and reached out to me and said Jack, we want you to come and try a sci-fi pilot simulator game, which is their game, Frontier Pilot Simulator. So far from just playing around with it, I am really enjoying it. So people are wondering exactly what it is, well Frontier Pilot Simulator is an environment centred single player vehicle sim combining skill based flying system, I'm going to need some skill for this, with a story driven economic progression system. Your piloting XPs will be constantly challenged by the world while it unfolds before you. Sounds pretty cool and pretty complicated at the same time. I'm going to be jumping in today and see how well I actually survive in the world of Frontier and uh, see if I actually manage to deliver anyone or any cargo on time. Welcome to Rastland, the most promising colony. Alright, so we've got our ship here. Pretty easy to control. WASD usually do your typical things. I'm now sort of taxiing between vehicles and areas stuff like that. So I can fly over there and I think that's what I need to do. I need to go over there. So if we just hold down space, that's our ignition. And we're, hey, we're up in the air. Now I need to continuously hold down space or we will just, you know, like crash back down like I'm doing now. See? Let's hope not to dent the ship just yet. And this sh like world we're in is absolutely amazing. First delivery from Spaceport, stay focused. Your Scarab is a powerful vehicle. So it's called a Scarab, is it? Okay. So we need to go over here, fly here. Sounds pretty easy. Let's see if we can actually land it. All I'll do is I'll come around from the back here. So using WSD and the typical controls for flying vehicles in any sci-fi game, I am carefully navigating my way over here. Now, but, but I did a bit of a map before like recording it. I did crash straight into that tower beforehand. So I've learned from my previous mistakes. We need to gently land here. Let's see if we can land almost perfectly this time. Go on, there we go. Down. Oh, not on the car container. Don't crash into it. That sounded like a scratch to me. Alright, steady. Okay, we may have slightly... I, I never claimed to be good at landings in my defence. Okay, that looks like that to me. Okay, I think we just have to reverse it now. I mean, I am a bit off-centre, but... No, no one will notice. It's not like they're looking at windows. There is a guy walking around in front of me. We should just ignore that. Alright, if I come to stop here, this should light up green. There we go. I can now press return and access our cargo area. So I can also take on board these items. Advanced colonial B2 rations. I think we have to deliver these. Uh, I'm fine on fuel and stuff for a minute. So what we'll do is we press space. Bang. We've got those on board there. Advanced colony. Okay. Now I think you can see the cargo actually being taken online there. And see now it's appeared in my cargo area. Excellent. What we have to do is we have to take this to the colonists I think. And uh, go there. So sell rations here. Uh, it's 2.8 kilometers away. Awesome. Let's take off again. I think we can actually upgrade the ship. What we'll do is we'll go drop these rations off, then we'll actually come back and see if we can upgrade our scarab. Initiating engines, loading complete, the container's been secured. Okay, now the toy is a little bit behind. So, so far this game is rather simple, but that isn't really an issue. Sometimes the simplest games are actually the best ones to play. Um, so yeah. Also, if you guys are liking the look of this and liking what I'm playing today and feel like you'd like to try it for yourself, there is currently a Steam sale going on, so if you do want to pick up a game, you can pick it up with a bit of discount as well, which is always nice. I'll leave a link down below to the Steam page where you can go and download and buy the game. Right, when you go sell the rations over there, it should be, uh, this looks like it might be a bit more of a difficult landing. All right. Steady. No, we're going in too low. Come on, Fosters. Back off. Oh, we're going to scrape the surface, I think. <sighs> now, that is a close one. Oh, the tail almost touched <laughs> it there. Wow. And a like a glove. Look at that. That was an almost perfect landing. All right, full stop. Are we actually in... Oh, no, we need to just angle ourselves in the right area. Oh, there we go. Stop, 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 stop. Green. Excellent. Okay. So now we need to sell these advanced colonial BT rations to the colony here. Bang, space, cogs delivered, colonists will be fed. Yay, no one's going to not get fed on my watch. Uh, okay, I think I can just exit now, and bang, there we go. Now I think, what is our next mission? Uh, do we get a next one? Cogs delivered, colonists will be fed. Awesome. Item sold, there you go. Just got to wait for the game to catch up a little bit. Um, oh, we've got to pick up a passenger. Can I just lower my ramp here? T to lower ramp. No, I've got to drive over to him. Okay, so I won't fly there. What I'll do is I'll just taxi over to that area, and uh, we'll then get the passenger on board, so we can then go drop him off somewhere. And if we just go down the ramp, try not to roll and crash into anything. I think if we just steer in here quickly, we should be able to pick him up. There you go, he's just waiting on a landing pad already for us. He's got a suitcase and everything. Alright, let's gently taxi in here. There we go. Full stop, what I'll do is I'll drop the ramp. There we go, he's coming in over. Nice, and I can just use the camera here to turn around to show you him actually getting on board there. Passenger pickup complete, excellent. And I think, where are we dropping him? I don't actually know. Close the ramp. So where's he going? To the Nord Connolly, and that's over there. Deliver passenger. 3.6k away. Okay. Right, engines online. Ignition. We're in the air. Altitude is rising. Pass 500. 
Okay, so we need to go over this towards that, what looks like a volcano. So the game actually has these unique weather conditions here. As you can see, uh, that is what it looks like to be a volcano as we come over the hill here. It looks very scary. Um, so I'm going to have to fly through the cloud a bit. I could take like the, the way around it, but nah, let's go straight through it. Shouldn't be that bad, should it? We're just flying through like an ash cloud almost. Oh dear, that was a bit of turbulence. So there are unique weather conditions in the game which makes it that even more interesting. Having unique weather conditions really adds a, like a level of challenge to it I think because else it's just free flying. And I think there's different areas you can fly on as well and get different ships so we'll find out if we can get a new ship in a minute. Alright let's go in for a nice and smooth landing. Initiate jets. Okay now we just need to fly forward a little bit. And down. Open a the hatch. There you go. He can offload here. Excellent. I got low charge. I need to stock up. A service drones container just there. Let's go see if we can pick it up quickly. Right. Load us in. He's walking off to see what it is. Togo heavy container and deliver it to a spaceport. Okay. Oh, nope. Careful. Careful. That was almost a crash. Oh, I almost crashed. <laughs> I'm not a good pilot, as you can tell. This is all oh, I've just damaged the tail, I think. Uh oh. Now we seem to be flying up in the air for no reason. Right, arc forward a little bit. We're gonna go too far. We'll land here nice and peacefully. You can actually play this game with a controller as well, so if you have an Xbox controller or a joystick or one of those really advanced flight pad controllers, then uh, you can play the game with that. Okay, we need to just press return or enter, and that should get us into the loading platform. Alright, we need to grab those containers. There you go, press Y and we're grabbing him. And I think that's... What it, is it going to take us inside or is it just going to dock on? I oh, know it's just docked on there. Okay, alright. Container loading complete. Open the hatch. I don't know why we have to lower the hatch. Okay, let's take off. We need to go to the spaceport now. Now we're, our weight is going to be adjusted now, so we need to fly a little bit safer. That's one unique thing as well. Obviously, as you load up cargo and different things like that, your vehicle weight will, uh, you know, get a lot heavier, as it should do in most games. Um, so we're going to deliver cargo container of uh, 6k away. Alright, let's try our piloting a bit more. We need to get our altitude up a bit because we need to fly past this and hopefully we're not going to get into that ash cloud again. Because if so, that could knock us off course, which isn't going to be good. Low charge. Uh, I think we're running out of power. Uh-oh. Oh, that just knocked us a bit. Right, hopefully we can get to the deliver the container area and we can charge up. Some, we're on 97%. So I don't know what he's complaining about low charge for. I say, if we run out of battery power now, we are going to drop like a block. There is a red marker over here. Uh-oh. We've lost power. We've lost power. Emergency. Emergency. I didn't realise it was that low. Abort. Abort. Well, that's the end of me. Um. Uh-oh. We may have to go retrieve that at some point. But Oh, look at that. A giant starship. Nice. That's cool. That looks really cool. Well, okay, I didn't realise I was that low on power there. The battery still showed three bars. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to electronics, but I thought that would mean I had a lot more power. Obviously not. Well, you know, it's common sense for me to crash a ship in any sci-fi game, so we can add that one to the list. Now, the escape pod here is going to return us to this action over here, and there we go, we've got another ship here. So, I think I can just basically do this anyway. Uh, improvements. So, is this the improvements we can add to it? Okay. Suspended batteries. Ah, okay, so can I add these to it? Uh, select improvements to buy or sell. Alright, and this is my ship here. Awesome. Suspended batteries, um, okay. Enhanced purchase, mongoose, okay, we purchased all and it's now on board the ship actually. Awesome. Accessory installed, accessory change. I don't need to change that just yet. Awesome, so I think this is all in, uh, Okay, it's completed. Oh no, it takes time to actually complete. Oh, so we actually are installing the components. You can see the cranes in the background there. Multi-class uh, chassis. That is installing or dismantling now. I wonder if this will actually like go up. We're just waiting for it, I think. There you go. It's gone 25%. Alright, so we have to wait here a minute. I'll fast forward for this when it's complete. We can then roll out. Alright, all our supplies are now complete. So I think we can just... Uh, is it T or do we have to... Post not possible, more credits required. Okay, I think we can just... Space and uh, we can exit out. There you go. I tried to accidentally purchase more stuff, but I think we've managed to improve everything now. So we're rolling out. And the ship looks a little bit different as well. So uh, this might be cool. I don't know whether we can upgrade different ships and stuff. I don't know whether we can buy different ships. 
I need to find that somehow. Does I actually still leave that other container over there? We need to go rescue that. Let's take off and go get that other uh, rescue container. Is this like another weather condition going through? It looks like snow almost. We want to go see if we can rescue that service drone container, because I did drop it. Oh, this ship feels a little bit faster. Hmm, maybe those upgrades are actually working. Yeah, this looks like snow going around here, or ash clouds or something. Right, we need to go down here very slowly and see if we can actually rescue these drones. That weather is going to make this even more difficult. Let's try not crash for the second time. That would be embarrassing. Alright, steady. I think if we just get below the hill a little bit, we should be able to uh, go in a bit closer. I don't know if I can form like a mid-air docking scenario. It's going to be really hard to pick this up. Oh. Full stop, full stop, full stop. Pull that in, pull it in, there we go. Come on, this is like <laughs> the worst maneuver possible. Alright, we've got it. Okay, keep bringing it in. It's in. Okay, right, there we go, right. Emergency takeoff, get us the hell out of here. I thought that's one of those rescue mission movies, you know what I mean? They had to drop in before the helicopter gets destroyed or something. Alright, we need to deliver this back to the cargo area while fighting these weather conditions. That was quite cool, really. I thought they were just deleting the container and I'd have to go restart again. But in fact, I had to just go and pick it up uh, like down a cliff and battle the weather conditions and a really weird landing space as well. Uh, that was super cool. I'm liking this. Alright, so we need to head up there and drop it where we're picking up the other one. Sounds pretty simple. Okay, so I encountered a little bit of bug there with a ship glitch type, so I had to respawn in another one. Uh, however, the container is now down here. So we're still trying to pick up this original container I dropped earlier, but I managed to drop it closer to the checkpoint now. But now we're on a time limit because we've got about a minute to pick this up. So uh, hopefully I can battle these weather conditions in this land smoothly. Nope, reverse the other way. Come on, wheel, turn around. We need to just back up ever so slowly into that area. I think this container's not even here anymore, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Well, we failed in that mission. It's still there, according to this. Okay, well, let's just give up on that one and go get the other one instead. That uh, might yield some better results. We've got to climb this very carefully now. Unfortunately, uh, we couldn't get that one because it glitched a little bit. But we should be able to pick up this one. Also, the ship changed a little bit as well. The upgrade's still carried across, but uh, it's changed a little bit now. Mission failed, okay. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. Alright, let's uh, deliver or cargo for cargo space. Alright, this should be pretty simple. I can't imagine us really messing this one up. Right, let's reverse in there to pick this one up. Right, load it in, let's get the crane out. There we go, and you can see the crane picking up and dropping it in. Very nice. Alright, where we gotta drop this one? Let's wait for it to pop up on the HUD. Where are we taking this then? We've got tons of other um, Conlus and cities we can go to. Have Oh, hello. Is there a really big map? There is. Oh, I didn't realise there was such a big map. Look at this. There's whole different areas. Should we see if we can get it to there? I don't know where this is meant to go, but let's see if we can go on a little bit of a voyage in a minute. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, initiate takeoff. Let's get out of here. I wonder how far we can go. We're on, like, max charge anyway, so we should be fine. I need to keep an altitude while I check the map a minute. There you go, it's all the way over there. Awesome. I can run all the HUD points, that's nice. Trawler 610. We're going to Raglor Transit. Should be pretty easy to reach. Let's see if we can climb at altitude. Low charge already. Are the batteries on these ships like terrible or something? <laughs> low charge? We can probably make it there. It's only low charge. I 
I mean, it still says 99% on the charge thing, but maybe the damage value of the battery. That could be used a bit of improvement, so some feedback for the devs, uh, the devs there is possibly change that, because a lot of, I'm thinking that means 99% battery left. So in fact, it may mean something else. Oh, there we go. We've got 300 charge. It does look pretty cool, though. Uh-oh. I think we're too late to turn back now. Can we glide? Where's the aerodynamics? Why can't we glide? A new ship can be purchased in a hangar. Well, everyone, it was an honor serving you. However, I think we are just going to crash here in the ocean because I've run out with uh, I've run out of fuel, which is unfortunate, um, which is a shame. Maybe we'll see if we can shop for like another ship when we get home, you know, in pieces. That could be quite cool. And we're out of power. Well, I hope this thing can float. The oceans look good. The escape pod looks good. So we go, we're back at the base now. Uh, we're just going to take a little fly around while I tell you a little bit more about the game or what I've actually got left to tell you. Because we've been through quite a lot in this video. I've shown you most of it, how it works, the sort of flying between places, delivering things. That is the basic premise of the game. we also got the extended map, which you can see up there when I press M again. You've got all these sort of other complexes you can reach, not just this island we are on. There's a few ports, there's stuff like that. Really cool. And like I say the advanced VTOL mechanics are something I really like because not many games will also replicate this. Also, these weather conditions are getting really bad. Um... This is another thing about the game as well, you've got these unique weather conditions which really hamper your ability to fly around the surface of certain areas. One thing I really enjoy, and so guys, if you do want to pick up the game for yourself, it's currently a 25% discount on Steam right now, so feel free to go and check it out. As usual, there will be a link down below in the description to where you can go check it out. I am almost crashing somewhere. Is that an area down there? Should we see if we can, like, brace for an emergency landing, I think? Let's see if they'll accept us down there. Landing zone? Awesome. I think this is port, isn't it? It is. We'll come in for a quick landing while I uh, wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching us today. It's been a pleasure checking out Frontier Pilot Simulator. Um, developers are very kind to give a copy to me and said, Jack, check it out because it is amazing. Um, we teamed up basically to improve my piloting skills. I think they have improved a little bit. Uh, when I started this game, I crashed into everything. Uh, when I've ended it, I'm only crashing into a few things. So I think definitely we've done quite well. And the game is looking amazing so far. I can't wait to see what other future refinements they bring to the game. And uh, I think I'll be playing a little bit more because there's a few other ships you can get around here which are going to be pretty cool. There's one with like... Uh, four engines as well which I definitely would check out um so yeah this game is pretty cool and I think it's got red engines as well if you guys know me I, I'm a fan of red especially when it comes to ships and engines so guys I've been Cam Jack this has been Frontier Pilot Simulator again the link will be down below in the description as per usual if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit like rating on it and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>